Okay, this is the Wanderer, and um, I wanted to do something for the 2007 thread. So at the end of 2007, I did an LP of Punch Out for the NES. So I thought, why not do Super Punch Out? Well, I was a little hesitant at first because I haven't played through Super Punch Out that much, and I'm not a big fan of the game. We'll get into why I'm not a big fan of the game later on. Now, when you start up the game, they ask you to name the character, because for some reason this protagonist does not have a name. But I'm going to name him Little Mac, because screw him, Little Mac is a better fighter than he could ever be. Um, so the championship mode, you actually choose which circuit you want to do, but you have to go in order, of course. Um, also, the neat thing they added is time attack mode, which you I'm pointing at the screen, but you can't see that. Um, <laughs> in time attack... You can fight whichever fighter you want as long as you've beaten that circuit. And it's really nice just for a, uh, I want to fight this guy, so let me fight him kind of thing. So let's start with the minor circuit. Um, I'm only going to do two fights each video because I don't want the videos to be too long or I want to have enough videos. I don't want to have too few videos. So the first person we have is Gabby J, who replaces. Glass Joe. Gabby and actually, his only win is to Glass Joe. Yay. Fun fact. Um, so you can dodge left and right, just like in the original Punch Out. You can also duck, which is a lot more useful. You hold up on the controller to block up. And, excuse me, you don't press anything to block your body. Um, you can punch up, punch the body. Come on. Let's see if I can pull this off. Come on. No, nope, of course I fucking miss. Um, if you punch him when he's coming in like that, it's an instant knockdown, just like with Glass Joe. And, um, you can notice there's a little meter on the bottom that's slowly filling. Now that it's full, you hit a different button and you super punch. Also, along with the super punch, there's the rapid punch, which I, of course, fucked up. Let's knock him down before you can get a chance to catch his breath. Also, when they're, when opponents are knocked down, you can rapidly hit buttons and get health back. It's another nice feature they added. So let's try that rapid punch again. If you rapidly hit the super button, he's not going to let me show it off, is he? Let's see if I can knock him down this time. Fuck. Fine. I'm just going to kick your ass, old man. There we go. Yes, that was the rapid punch. Cool, but not effective. Um, what else to talk about? Let's see. Um, you may notice that my gloves are glowing. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how that works. I think it's if you dodge a lot and hit them a lot, you get extra strength or some bull crap like that. Now, I stated earlier, there's reasons I don't like this game. Um, coming up is one of those reasons. Oh yeah, this is the point screen. You get points at the end of each match. I'm not 100% sure what they do. I think if you get enough, you get an extra rest. Or continue, which is really nice when you're first playing through the game. But let's go on to one of the reasons I don't like this game. It introduces Bear Hugger. I don't like Bear Hugger. He's boring. And not that hard. Well, he is only the second match, but then he shows up in Punch Out Wii, and he's still not hard. Like, watch. Punch, punch, dodge, punch. He always counters with the bear hug if he blocks your punch. And you just need to duck to dodge that, and you super punch him. Oh, now he's gonna go crazy on me. As I get hit. Now he starts mixing in different punches, and it'll actually stop blocking your shit and countering attack all the time, but once you knock him down, he goes right back into that pattern, so what's the point? And he's down again, which comes to another one of my reasons I dislike this game. You can win too quickly. I already KO'd him in 33 seconds. In the original Punch-Out, once you got to like Piston Honda or 
definitely by the time you're at King Hippo. You can't beat guys this fast. You would actually have to take time, learn patterns, figure out what the fuck you had to do. And there was some trick to beating them that you had to figure out. In this one, you can just wail on them and then you win. Not really that much fun in my opinion. Some people love it. I'm not big on it. Um, we're going to get into more other reasons I dislike this and more crazy boxers next video. But for now, I'm going to call it a night. So um, I guess I'll see you guys next video.